Currently, the name Nabanja is synonymous to Kakumiro and Kibale districts. Nabanja is an icon of the greater Bunyoro region due to her mobilization skills for the NRM party. Those who have lived near her describe her as passionate about community mobilization and effective service delivery. Honorable Nabanja Rubina, who is our area member of parliament, who has tried from her pocket, pulled from her pocket money to work on this road here. Although her name is more common in Buganda, Nabanja is actually a Munyoro by ethnicity. Mbogo clan members from uh, Chenjojo, Kagadi, Chivare, um, Chikube, Hoima. We request the government to invest in a clan that are organized. Clans that are organized like the Mbogo clan, other than putting money in the ghetto. Her name is a result of historical injustices faced by the Banyoro during the colonial times. Nabaja has today become the 11th Prime Minister and the first female office holder in the Uganda's history and at 51 years, the youngest ever to hold such a position since 1962. The experience I have, the qualifications I have, I believe are enough for me to, to be up to the task. However, her rise did not come smoothly, but with some disappointments in the NRM ruling party. This is how Nabanja felt when Kakumiro was removed from the list to become an independent district separate from Kibale district. For us, we are in pain. Kibale people have not benefited from this government. Ah. We have been voting 99%. This time, I think they will struggle. It is not easy. People have now opened their eyes. They know my people are suffering. So you want me to be here and, you know, and eat chips and chicken? When my people are struggling, I can't. The truth is we have not benefited. We are being used like spoons. She has also been involved in several altercations with district leaders as she looked to deliver service to the people of Kakumira. The community brought their hands and hope. The way you have seen. We work hand in hand with the community. His intention was to kill me, I think. One of her recent initiatives was a health center in Kakumiro, planned to bring health services closer to the people who trekked to Kagadi Hospital. For 10 years, between 2001 to 2010, she served as the resident district commissioner in Palisa, Busia and Budaka, before joining the elective politics in 2011, beating Victoria Kabonesa to become the Chibare District Human Member of Parliament in the Ninth Parliament in 2011 to 2016. During her time as RDC of Busia District, Nabanja reportedly dismantled UPC structures, wiping out Agrawari's stronghold in the district and also ensuring his first parliamentary electoral laws. When she was here, we never had camps. We never had camps. The NRM was performing at 99%. 99. She's a woman who made a worry to be removed from parliament. So I think UPC. The, the, the UPC was a stronghold here. But because of Nabanja, UPC was wiped out up to today. We still uh, remember her. Apart from this, she owns a chain of hotels under the names of Hotel Classic in Kakumiro, Mubende, and Kibare districts. When Kakumiro District was created in 2016, she successfully contested for the woman member of parliament easily, taking the seat and has since won the re-election. During her time in parliament, she rose in party ranks to become party treasurer. She has also been a parliamentary commissioner from 2016 to 2019. Her stature mobilization skills so joined the cabinet as Minister of State for Health in charge of general duties. However, a section of Ugandans have reservations about her abilities as Prime Minister. Now all of a sudden she has fallen into things. She has, uh, I think, arrived where she wanted to be. So that's not a person who can uh, advance a national agenda. So in the morning you walk the corridors to go and meet your supervisor called Nabanja and you are Kadaga. And I pity the people, people who are with him seven, for me, there is no way I will work as, with Nabanja as my supervisor. Maybe in a grave where there are no decisions except made by God. 
And to me, I thought she performed very well as an RDC, supervising government programs in the Busia. So I, I struggled myself at the ability to supervise at district level whether it can be translated into being in a position to supervise uh, government businesses as a prime minister. I'm committed. I will serve this country with all my heart. I will serve this country in a transparency manner. I am a team builder. Expect teamwork. Nabanja was born and raised in Kamsen in a village in Nkoko sub-county in the present day Kakumiro district in Munyoro in western Uganda on the 17th December 1969. She attended Nkoko primary school before joining St. Edward Secondary School, Bukumi in Kakumiro, for both Olive and A-level studies. Between 1990 and 2000, Nabanja obtained certificates and diplomas in leadership management and development studies from various institutions, including Uganda Matters University, Uganda Management Institute, the Islamic University in Uganda, and the National Leadership Institute in Chiangkwanzi. From 1993 until 1996, Nabanja was a school teacher at Uganda Matters Secondary School, Kakumiro. She holds a Bachelor's of Democracy and Development Studies degree from Uganda Matters University, and she is currently a first-year master's degree student of monitoring and evaluation at Nkumba University. Jingo Francis, NTV.